Hello and welcome back again. Yes, we're here, Your Marriage Matters, with Drs. Richard and Nefertina Serrano, the marriage CEOs. And we are in part two session with Mr. Terrence Hutchinson and Butter B. Rocker. We're talking about health, wealth, and relationship today. So you don't want to miss it. Stay right where you are. Invite a friend to come back. Dominion TV, don't touch that dial. Hello and welcome back. We're here on Your Marriage Matters with this amazing couple. Yes, 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 yes. they are taken. Yes. <laughs> yes. Both. Both. <laughs> we have Mr. Terrence Hutchinson and Hello. Miss Butta B. Rocca. Hey, how are you? Yes, yes how hello. are you today? I'm doing good. Great, Listen, great. thank you guys so much for being with us mm -hmm. once again. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we, we, we had to end our part one, but we wanted to go right back into part yes. two today. And so, you know, we were talking about diabetes and how you can get better, how you were able to overcome, and you mm -hmm. share with us your story on the last segment. So if you didn't watch it last time, make sure you go back and see yes. part one because mm -hmm. there was a lot of good information on there. You don't want to miss any of it, I promise you. It's going to benefit you, and it will benefit your loved ones. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Terrence, um, I'm super excited to have you as my coach. Thank you. And you guys are um, together as a couple. Mm -hmm. We met you in Florida. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. When this beautiful queen mm -hmm. was singing <laughs> at an event, a business a corporate event, CEO mm -hmm. event that we were a part of. And I was the MC, and That's my right. husband That's was right. on the panel. Yeah. And uh, God would have it be so that we would go out to dinner together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were like, let's jump the ship and <laughs> <laughs> go get something yeah. to eat. And, yeah. It winded up being one of the most um, interesting and beneficial dinners together. Yeah. We just had a good old time, didn't we? It was like yeah. we knew each other yeah, forever. Yeah. Like old yeah. friends, I'm <laughs> telling you. The conversation was very organic. We yeah. used, the, the atmosphere was great. The food was wonderful. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And it was very relaxing yeah. for us. Yeah, and Thank right you. now we're, we're not able to get out and do as much mm -hmm. social, yeah. you know, togetherness yeah. with everything. Yeah. But you were talking about that, and then we're going to talk a little bit about you guys. But you were mm -hmm. saying in our last segment when we ended, um, just about being in the home, having yeah. to stay inside and, yeah. and all of that and, and how that can weigh on your mental and emotional yeah. Yeah. state of mind, mm -hmm. right? And how yeah. that also affects your organs, yeah. not getting that exercise and so forth. So yeah. um, what should we do? The, let's, let's talk about some ways we can get this thing better because, of course, I have a success story <laughs> that I'm going to share with yes. you all before it's over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, since I've met this wonderful gentleman and the Lord bless me to have him in our life. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, the number one thing you can do is just get up and move, get outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you are in your backyard on your patio, you don't have to wear a mask. You home, mm -hmm. right? you know, you quarantine with loved ones. Get out there, hack your environment. You have some weights, you have some dumbbells, mm -hmm. you have a bike, whatever you have to do. Get out in that atmosphere, get that sunshine on mm -hmm. your face. Mm -hmm. That's going to make you feel alive. You yeah. cannot stay in the house. That's right. That's going to weaken your immune system anyway. And yeah. this is the whole thing we're trying to prevent, mm -hmm. a weak immune system, right? So we want to get out, get that atmosphere in you, get that yeah, breathe. deep breathe from the diaphragm out through the nostrils, mm -hmm. relax. When you breathe deeply, you naturally, holistically, 
lower your blood pressure. Wow. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Wow. Mm. So wow. when you're home and you're comfort of your home and you're relaxing, you're not thinking about COVID right now. Mm -hmm. That's right. You mm -hmm. understand me? Yeah. You get out, you do 60 minutes of exercise, 45 minutes, whatever you have to do. I don't care if you rake in the yard, mowing the lawn. That's good exercise. You know, everything's mm -hmm. like you guys was on your yeah. bicycles. Yes, that's, right. Riding that's right. Much I more was right. videotaping. Yeah, he, he was did, videotaping honey. on the bike. <laughs> Excellent. His wife is like way in front of <laughs> <laughs> I was losing yeah, them that you know, day. <laughs> and I saw it, I was like, yeah, I was cheering you on from Atlanta, you know. Thank so you. you have to get out and do that. And that's going to really increase your, your, you know, your feel good hormones. Mm -hmm. So you're not sitting on the couch feeling depressed, mm -hmm. lonely, yeah. worried, yeah. what's happening. You got to realize this is that over 60 million people pretty much lost their career, so their jobs. Wow. Wow. So now you're home so trying wow. to figure your next move out. Your kids are quarantined now, and you're realizing that you are not smarter than a fifth mm. grader, you know? Yes. So, <laughs> so now, <laughs> now you're going about to it. the grocery Everybody's store, old. you're buying everything off the shelves. Everything. Unhealthy food, yeah. Yeah. you know, frozen products, things that are high in sodium, high in sugar, process got an ingredient list on a box like this long mm. 900 milligrams of sodium wow so um i read a bloomberg report two months ago it's like popcorn and pretzels the sales went up by 47 percent wow potato chips went up i think about 45 percent wow. okay uber eats skyrocket <laughs> rod hubs because yeah. everybody is quarantined so yeah. we're ordering out now, restaurants are closed. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you've like, cravings start to kick in. Mm -hmm. So they're calling it the, the quarantine 15 now. So oh, the wow. minimum 15 pounds that the average person who was mm. home is gonna gain just sitting there eating, snacking. Wow. So mm -hmm. it's a big deal to monitor what you're eating, monitor what you're listening to, monitor what you're reading, you know? Yeah. And pat yourself on the shoulder, say, hey, you're doing great, right? Yeah. And be aware of how you're talking to yourself. Like oh, when you look at good. yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. you need right. to say, great job. Yep. Yes. Don't start Absolutely. the negative self-talk. Yes. Your subconscious mind is recording everything that you're saying. Be careful what you tell yourself because you are listening. Oh, right. wow. You understand what like I'm saying? That. So you got yes. to say, you are beautiful, you are healthy, you are strong. You got to say these Come affirmations. On. Yes, excellent. You know, and to really give yourself a major pep talk. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be hard. Trust me, it's not going to be it's one of those things you're going to wake up every morning yeah. and say. It is hard. Yeah, it's, this is mm -hmm. a challenge to do. Mm -hmm. But once you get into a routine, yeah. 21 days at least that. Yeah. So just imagine we've been quarantine for what, how long now? Five months, six yeah, months, six whatever. Months. In a while. Mm -hmm. 21 days for a healthy or an unhealthy habit. Yes, yeah. that's true. So what are you gonna do? You, yeah. you got to really, really motivate yourself to practice self-care. Now, when you do this, you have to say, it's not just me anymore. Mm. It's him, mm -hmm. yeah. it's for her, mm -hmm. it's for the kids, it's for the business. Yeah. Everything rides on you taking care of yourself first. So when you go on an airplane and the stewardess says, in case of emergency, and the mask drops down first, mm -hmm. it says secure the mask on you, you first. first. Yeah. Because if I do this, I'm no good. I'm no good. To, to, yeah. That's you know right. what I mean? That's so right. this is this is self care. Mm -hmm. Self care. That's so right. you have to practice your wow. practice self care first mm -hmm. before you become any a, a more asset. To somebody else. Right. That's right. good. You know? Yeah. Wow. So, Butter B. Yes. <laughs> so, we know that you have a lot going on as well singing, mom, entrepreneur. Yes. The family's entrepreneur yes. now. The children have their Woo -woo. own magazine and <laughs> so much going on. Yeah. Um, so, how is it living at home with Terrence here and, yeah. uh, <laughs> and taking care of one another? Because you have to, of course, adjust, right? Yeah. Uh, um, you yeah, know. it's it's been it's been a great journey <laughs> um, us living together. Um, my whole household are entrepreneurs. I mean, from right. the kids, we be trying to get the dog to become an <laughs> entrepreneur, but everybody is an entrepreneur. So um, we have 
we have dinners where we're all coming up with ideas and, and planning. That's it's, awesome. it's, it's really cool because mm -hmm. the kids come up with you know various ideas and we sit together and we figure out how we're going to make it happen and yeah. vice versa. You mm -hmm. know, I have my own projects and things that I'm mm -hmm. doing. Um, as you know, I am an international artist right. and I have my own um, book. I have a PR firm. I have yeah. a nonprofit and then I'm the editor in chief of the boys magazine. And wow. so it's a lot of hats Excellent. that I'm wearing. Um, yeah. And then with the PR, you know, I'm making sure that both Terrence and the boys and also my wow, own career is going and then I have other um, clients as well. So yeah. it's wow. been a journey. Yeah. She's, wow. a, she's a drill sergeant too. <laughs> she is? Oh, yeah. Well, that helps herself. If she's not like that, yeah. she will be in yeah. trouble. Yeah. I'd be like. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, yeah, but it's worth it, yeah. You know, yeah, when, when we met you in Florida, we just thought, wow, this is an amazing young lady. Mm -hmm. Here she is, a, a single mom, raising two boys yeah. to be men. To be men, yeah. Um, they're teenagers, and now, mm -hmm. how old are they now? They're 17 and 18. Se wow. Oh, one is a, one is a man now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Time flies, I tell you. Just graduated. College yeah, that's awesome. that's awesome. And so he's going to go to college? Mm -hmm. and he's going to Savannah State for electrical engineering. Excellent, okay, excellent. Okay. That's an amazing field, too. One that not a lot of times, of course, we know our culture don't, Per, you know, kind of go that route, right. but you know, you know, science is up and coming, and we need to make sure that we're making sure that our children are in that loop and yeah. re recognizing that that is an attainable, attainable position for them, and that they can do very well at it. Yeah. You know, so I, 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 you know, I was speaking to you and, and letting you know how I really admire you as a woman, as a mom. And um, you're not only beautiful on the outside, but you have an amazing heart and you have such a work ethic. Mm -hmm. So as we're talking about health, wealth and relationship, you are your work ethic is really true. So tell us a little bit about what it is in your world. What do your day look like from the moment you get up to get moving? <laughs> and how do you work that out? Because we have entrepreneurs that are looking right. and that want to know, how can I do it? I'm a single mom. You know, I want to know how can I make this happen? And how can I also wait in the waiting game for Mr. Wright? and not be too eager. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm waiting to hear the answer. <laughs> um, man, it's, it, there's the day-to-day -day process. You know, I am an a entertainer, and mm -hmm. since COVID, a lot of things have has, uh, shut down. But even prior to that, um, a year ago, I had injured myself. So I've yeah. been sitting um, on, the, on the side for a minute, yeah. kind of. I have done some shows, but I'm usually overseas. Um, mm -hmm. But when I had my ACL and meniscus uh, surgery and I dislocated my shoulder, wow. it slowed a lot That's of things right. down. So I had yeah. to really figure out, okay, well, if uh, not, uh, at that time, 100% of my income was coming from me touring. So it was like, okay, you're gonna have to really quickly figure out some additional hustles. All right, and, <laughs> real quick. Um, yeah, real quick. Real quick. And when you, when you, sit there and you and you do a self-evaluation you come up with what else am i good at yeah. so i wrote my book my book became a bestseller in seven mm -hmm. hours uh What's the name of my of it? um it's called fear of failure fear of not trying wow and um yeah. and I, I was actually at a uh, at a meeting at a conference i performed at this yacht was y'all at that one no we weren't okay yeah. okay <laughs> Uh, when it was with Dr. Lee, but okay. I performed at this event and um, I heard this guy, Mr. Bill Wash, speaking and um, he said, write your story. Wow. And a lot of people have said that, you know, before, right, right. but it's something about when it's time for you to hear it. When this it's time, time for you to hear it, you hear it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. this particular time on that day when he said it, I was like, aha. And so <laughs> I went to, yeah. I was touring over in, in Hawaii. They had a big storm a hurricane actually. And so we uh, was out to sea for an additional four days. Mm -hmm. wow. So in those four days, I wrote the book. And um, when I came back home, it was go time. You know, I had to figure it all out because I've never written a book before. So I, um, but 90% of it was done. I had to, you know, learn how to 
you know, figure out the cover and figure out everything yeah. that you need yeah. to have done and stuff. I want you to hold that thought because yeah. we're going to take a real quick break and come right back <laughs> when you finish and you can finish yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So we'll be right back with your Marriage Matters. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at Dominion Network. We are Drs. Richard and Nefertina Serrano, Your Marriage Matters. And remember to join us every Saturday at 10.30 a.m. right here on this station, Dominion TV. We want to say to you, happy two-year anniversary. Congratulations, and thank you for having us. Welcome back to Your Marriage Matters. We are here with Butter B. Rocker and Mr. Terrence Hutchinson. And she was sharing her amazing story being stuck out in Hawaii. Who wouldn't want to be there? <laughs> <laughs> so continue well, on. Well, you wouldn't want to be there during a storm. At that yeah. time. No. The waves. On, on, on. Right, <laughs> right. Not at that time. Yeah. Right. They're asking <laughs> you to still perform. And you're like, everybody oh. is levitating out of the beds. I'm definitely no. not getting on stage. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think you would want to do that. But um, yeah, so I was basically saying that, um, you know, it was, a, it was a different process for me because I had never written a book. I didn't know where to start and everything. And it was just one of those, I've always wanted to do it, but I didn't know how. But at that moment, I just said, let me just start. And mm. that's the first thing that that's anybody right. needs to do. Just you just start. gotta start. That's Good. right. You know, that, so many people fail because they don't even try. That's and wow. that's why the book is called Fear of Failure fear of not trying because although I was scared of failing right. I was I had a fear of failing I was more scared to not even try that's and be right. that woulda coulda shoulda you right. know that's right. at my deathbed yeah. like I never even tried it it's yeah like, that doesn't make sense for me and mm -hmm. so you know I, I, I went and I you know got the book done um, it was endorsed by Mr. Les Brown um, my forwards thank you <laughs> my forwards was done by um, uh, this Miss uh, Princess Marunda and also um, by Ambassador Capriccio. So, I mean, I had yeah. a lot of people support me on yeah, the yeah. book. Um, how come I know some of those people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was amazing. And um, I wrote a play called I Cheated So What and put wow. that out there. Um, that did very well. I had six national recording artists in my first play. Come on. Yeah. Yes. 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 Awesome. yes. Give it up. Yes. I, had, yes. I had over, um, <laughs> the place held a thousand people. I had um, 775 people mm. in my very first play. It was on. Um, Beautiful on the radio and they had a uh, Christopher Williams in the play and okay. I mean, all these people so it was really good. <laughs> right. um, uh, since the uh, since the COVID, we started the magazine. Yes, yeah. and, that has been uh, going very well. Yes. Yeah. So My tell voice. us the name of that. It's called Defiant Ones Teen Magazine. Mm -hmm. Defiant um, Ones yes. Teen Magazine. Yes, actually it started just a little bit before COVID um, to get it correct, mm -hmm. August of last year. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the boys, both of us write for different magazines and everything, yeah. we do articles. And the boys came up to us and they was like, well, why can't we do our own magazine? Mm. Okay. And so, no you know, else. Yeah. <laughs> and so we was like, well, what does that look they like? They felt out of place. Right. <laughs> we made them come up with a business plan and, oh, wow. you know, they came back with their ideas and everything. And one of the things that I love about the magazine, it's a magazine for teens by teens. Yeah. Um, where they highlight other entrepreneurs oh, and excellent. entertainers and everything. Um, but they don't just talk about, um, you know, the limelight and the fashion and everything. Right. They talk about money management, health and wellness, excellent. Um, financial literacy. They talk about a lot of different Bull things. Bullying. Yeah. Um, excellent. And, um, sex trafficking. Okay. Which know. is very yeah. wow. prevalent right now. Yeah. 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 They touch on a lot of subjects that the schools don't touch on. Mm -hmm. um, so that was one of the things that, um, you know, when they came back, to the table and and did their little presentation <laughs> we was like we That's got them you know? yeah i mean if, if one of the things that my mom installed in me i mean she's always pushed me to um you know to perform and sing and everything and she's been behind me you know 100 percent. and if my kids want to at least try it we're going to try it if yes. it don't work out it just don't work That's out right. but i'm going to go whole, wholeheartedly you know with anything that they do excellent yeah. So uh, yeah. tell us a little bit how you guys met. Give give us a little, a little <laughs> short, quick little version of that. <laughs> um, we met at an award show. Uh, both of us were nominated at an award show, oh, wow. and we briefly met there. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. We briefly met there, and we was also nominated at another award show. Yeah. 
And then that's when we spoke a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I still see the day. sparkle in her eye, Terrence. Yeah, so you yeah. must have did something right, okay? I, you know, <laughs> I, I saw her, I didn't know who she was. And then some people called me over to where she was. And I was like, what, what are they, why are they calling me over mm -hmm. there? And they introduced me to her. And, you know, I'm trying to play it smooth. And, <laughs> and I, you know, I said, she said, oh, this is Butter. Butter be rocking. I said, how you doing? And I shook her hand. And then I'm great with energies and vibrations. Mm -hmm. That's a gift, you wow. know? And I was like, ooh. You know? <laughs> I, was like, I felt it, but I, I quickly walked away. Yeah. You, you know? got scared. Wait yeah. a minute. No, no, no. I, I okay. didn't get afraid. I was, <laughs> you, you know, I, I, the, the energy was so organic and so fresh wow. and new to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I said, okay, I'm gonna play it easy because she's an international wow. recording artist. Yeah. She probably get introduced all the time. Right, right. So I didn't want to be that guy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's right, that's so right. So I had to play it cool. That's yeah. right. right. He was smooth with it. I was smooth with it. Was smooth was smooth with it. it. <laughs> so they wanted to take photos and all of a sudden she stood behind me. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, so, and then at another award show, you know, she said, hey, uh, I got a, I got a secret to tell you. Oh my God. And I'm, I'm going to tell the world. Go ahead. And, and right said, in that camera, yeah. right there. Buddy. And I said, yeah, what's that? So I'm playing it cool, you know? And she said, I got a crush on you. Really? I'm, I'm leaving to go to the Dominican Republic to perform. I'll wow. be back in a week. <laughs> and I said, Butter. okay, cool. When mm -hmm. you come back, that's when, you know, we'll talk. Wow. You know what I mean? And I kind of like walked away. I didn't see her. No, I didn't want to see her for the rest of the night. I, my <laughs> job was done. I didn't want to be all over the place. And the rest yeah. was history. Wow. Um, you yeah. know, that was it. Yeah. And um, it was, I'm going to tell you one day, it's, she was over to the house and uh, I was watching her sleep. Mm. And there, it was a Saturday morning. The birds were chirping. The sun was coming in. And um, God said, that's going to be your wife. Wow. wow. And I was like, and I heard it like, you know, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, that was like two years later. Wow. You so, I mean? so, Butter, how was that for you? Because you went to him and told them your secret, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah it, I, you know, and what's so crazy is I, I, I usually don't tell people that. I didn't that. think so, yeah. I don't. Yeah. And I don't know what it was. Wow. Um, it, what was so crazy is it was so many guys there trying to holler at me mm -hmm. the whole time I was there. Right, yeah. And I kept looking at him. And maybe it was, I was probably intrigued because he wasn't coming over to me. Yeah. Yeah. I think that yeah. it could have been part Learn of that. Learn it. Yeah. That <laughs> <could've been> part. <laughs> For those but he singles. was so cool, you know. And, and I always said he was, he was so fine. And yeah. I was like, man, I, I mean, <laughs> I, it was like I had to at least say something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I didn't know what I was going to say. I was shocked that I said it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was shocked, too. I was shocked. Yeah. I was. I think we're all shocked. Right yeah, I, was, I was when she said I was like, oh, yeah, I was like, OK, I'll see you when you get back. Yeah. Well, but it, yeah. it was a little um, I was a little hesitant. Yeah. Um, uh, it, our friend, my friends had to, you know, say some things to me. Yeah. And some <laughs> other friends was like, no, girl, don't mess don't with him. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he don't mess with him. I, yeah. I was a little hesitant. Yeah, she was definitely. Yeah. But I didn't sweat her, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, did, I gave her space. Yeah. I let her yeah. be butter. That's good. That's yeah. travel the world, <laughs> let you know? Let her be butter. Yeah. Let her be herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, and that's know, important. Actually. Because, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. she she had NFL, NBA, all type of guys coming at her. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, I, you know, I was like, man, I'm going to let her come to me, you know what I mean? So I had to mm -hmm. bring he that. He didn't know it's going to come to you. I didn't, I didn't know, but I had to use that up north thing on me. <laughs> we, <laughs> we know what he meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what well, God says what's for you yeah, is for, yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, and right at that point, you know, I was like, okay, I'm good now because, mm -hmm. you know, I I pray for some things too. Yes. You know, right. like, yes. you know, um, people yeah. look for a wife and they, you know, they go all over the place, but mm -hmm. I waited. Waited. I chill. Wow. I dated, but I never really took anything that serious. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I've, I've so. always heard when someone said, "What's looking for you? What you're looking for? Yeah, yeah. it's also looking for you." Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what's so crazy about that because neither one of us was looking, mm -hmm. yeah. and and we weren't looking. But when we found each other, we both said the same thing. We was like, "You was the one I was waiting it for." Was inside. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It was wow. inside. Yeah, of yeah. You. it really was. It's not yeah. on the surface. Really it's really something was. that was. She had in her you. crystals and everything. <laughs> I'm into affirmations. Oh really? I, man, I'm, I'm into all of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought he was gonna think I was weird, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I, um, you know, one night we was going to sleep, and I, I couldn't 
not turn it on. So I had we got to sleep with affirmations. Yeah. You know, you got to have yeah. positive stuff yeah. coming in. I need to wake up and go to sleep positive. That's good. That's, good. Yeah. And, That's uh, very good. But yeah. I pushed play, and I remember I was like, man, he's gonna he's gonna get up in the middle of the night and leave or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. This weird. is not what I signed up for. <laughs> but you know, one thing you know, we was we was trying to get to know each other, yeah. Yeah. and then when she injured herself. Mm. And she has a foundation called Artist Rock to Might. So she was putting on an event for uh, some homeless college students. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she had just injured her knee mm -hmm. and then um, and her shoulder. So she was on stage with a, a sling here and a brace there. Oh, my goodness. And she came out of that stuff when she performed. I said, okay, she's a trooper. Wow. Yeah. And that was it. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, your um, your life, your story, awesome. even, you know, you guys being together. And though, yeah, mm -hmm. we're your mar it, it's a marriage television show. And I believe that we need to model the way. That's yeah. right. I believe that we're going to be real leaders. A real That's leader right. is going to lead the way. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. so a lot of the times, um, even the events that my husband and I do and put on, we yeah. include singles because yeah. we believe that it's important yeah. that they see this thing called relationship and covenant in action, mm -hmm. right? So I just want to thank you guys mm -hmm. um, as singles coming together, you finding the one, yeah, yeah. listening yeah, to the right. voice of the Lord, allowing yeah. him to yeah. speak to you, yeah. and then you were moved to action, Yeah. right? Yeah. And so even that encounter, your whole encounter together was special. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for being yeah, here and yeah, sharing yeah, your yeah, lives, yeah. sharing yeah. your world. Thank thank you. so um, how can they get in touch with you very quickly? Um, you can find me at ButterBRocka, that's B-U-T-T-A-B-R-O-C-K-A.com. Um, everything is ButterBRocka, um, <laughs> our O. Robinson PR Media Group. Wow. Also, real quick, if we can, you have, because I've seen it several times and I participated with the series, what is that that you're doing? Um, are you talking about my podcast? Yes. Yeah. Is that I have, podcast? Yes. I have a podcast called, I forgot about that. Yeah. I have a podcast called Transparency Talks Podcast. Transparency. My boys have a podcast right. called Defiant Ones Team yeah. Podcast. Excellent. Terrence has a podcast, Your Best Life Sales <laughs> yeah. Podcast. Okay. Yeah. Well, podcast is where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you guys so much for everything yes, that you've thank done. You. Thanks for being here with us today. We appreciate you. Remember, every Saturday at 1030 a.m., you want to find us on Dominion TV. Thank God bless. You. Hi, we are Drs. Richard and Nefertina Serrano, your relationship experts, also Your Marriage Matters television show. Yes, we support you to achieve balance and stability in your life and in your marriage to give you a more complete, unified walk together. While you know you are journeying together, we currently have for you our Rise Up Together We Win. We want you to know that you can do it. Marriage was meant for success. God intended it, and it is his institution. Come on, let's rise up. Together, we win. God bless you.